Hi guys, I'm Silverwolf, and this video is a bit different. In this video I'm going to do a video about the history of flip phones um, using the ones that I've had personally. So there are a few years missed out. So basically we've got Motorola from 20, uh, 2004, the LG from 2004, the next model up from this one which is 2005, Motorola Razr from 2005, and a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 from 2022. So, um, well, phones originally were built like bricks. Everyone remembers the Nokia 3310. If you don't, you probably have heard of it because it was pretty, um, well, pretty strong. You know, the battery lasted for ages. It was literally indestructible. My dad dropped his in the toilet and it was still okay. So, uh, they moved on from there and they started bringing out these flip phones now back in the day when phones were first kind of becoming popular they were very small um, now these days they tend to do them bigger and bigger to try to find some sort of uh, a comfortable size between a phone and a tablet so you've got the big screen but it's not as big as a tablet um, but it's still you know usable because no one wants to stare at a tiny screen I guess personally for me I like the small phones the smaller the better it was just nice you know, I was uh, in my early 20s and I was kind of growing up and I just liked the little small phone that fitted in your pocket easily. When the bigger ones came out, they didn't fit in my pocket as easily. And if you're a woman, you know that women's clothes have terrible pockets that you can't really squeeze these things into and it was just annoying. And I'm one woman who doesn't like carrying a handbag around. So they started off small and then they sort of got bigger. So this was the first one the first flip phone that I got. My phone before this was the Nokia 3310. Now I've charged all these phones up and I'm hoping they'll switch on because I charged them up yesterday. I'm hoping the batteries didn't drain overnight. Yeah, weirdly I do save all my old phones. I have every single old phone that I've ever had, even the Nokia 3310, which there's another video about it. I could probably link at the end of this. Um, I just think that it's worth holding on to these things. I don't know why. I just do. I have all the boxes and stuff, so I take the batteries out of them and pack them away in the boxes, you know, and, and uh, I keep them. So this one was bought for me by my late boyfriend. Um, obviously he was alive at the time. And um, phones were a lot cheaper at the time as well. I really wanted a flip phone if one else had one. The fun things about this are it's got this little thing here that you can put like a charm or something on. I actually had a little duck that my friend gave me and uh, it lit up when your phone rang. You've got your volume buttons on the side. I can't remember what that one does. It's probably just to turn the screen on or something. And then that one over there. I think that's... Uh, I'm not sure if it would, would have been Bluetooth or whether... I used infrared. I've got one of these phones, I think one of these phones actually uses a something that um, the phone company LG bought out but they never actually utilised. I think it's this one uses that. This one didn't have it. It's got a plastic case um, and the camera of course is here and this camera I don't know how many pixels it was. It's got a four times zoom and it was from Orange which don't exist anymore in the UK. Orange became EE I believe and a little tiny aerial which they all had. I think the aerial actually you can unscrew and take off. So inside you can see it's got a nice shiny Motorola title there at the top and it's got simple navigation buttons and if you've ever seen one of these you, you know this is just how they are. So let's turn this one on. There we go. And these ones all had like LED screens back then. And all of this lit up, which is nice as well. I'm not sure if it'll work, because I don't think it's got a SIM card in. Um, and also, if it does have a SIM card, the number won't work anymore, because I took my number with me. And the older phones, if there was no SIM, or if the SIM didn't work, the phone wouldn't work. So, I'm not sure as I can really show you much of this. But this is a Motorola V220. I can't remember the model numbers of all of these, but... Oh, there we go. So, it's a picture of 2D from Demon Days on there. You can see how old it is when Gorillaz released that album. You've got styles and you've got camera and then you've got the menu thing in here. And look at those tiny little graphics. 
but they're all animated if you move your phone over if you move the thing over them it was your typical little phone with all sorts of little things on that you could use uh, what sort of games did it have on it? they were java powered orange games I never used orange games I used the ones that came with the phone so you've got hungry fish which is a bit like I think it's a bit like the snake game I can't remember that one opened out oh um, I think it was like a minesweeper game solitaire classic which I played of course all the time and that was it yeah three little games and multimedia you got themes for your phone obviously I had the purple theme pictures Sounds, Moto Mixer, and videos. I don't know what pictures I had in here. Two to the D, Ant on the bus, me on the bus. 2D at Carrows, that was a figure I had of him, I don't know what that is. Another one of 2D, Mr. Big, whoever he was, Dad, Grandpa, Sexy Ant, ooh, look at that. It's probably best that we don't look at these pictures. Well, um, save what? that was my hamster. Boris, Boris the cat, Ant's pussy. Okay, I'm not really sure what that is, and I don't actually want to know Ant and me and Mum. Okay, well there's a few weird sort of uh, adolescent things in there. So I, I was about, I think I was about 20 when I had this phone, or 21. Moto mixer. Don't know what. I don't think I ever used that. Do I actually have any music on here? Videos, sounds. Feel Good Ink, well of course, because I was apparently a massive Gorillaz fan back then. And, oh, I think that was a ringtone. These are all ringtones. So, that was that one, anyway. So that was the first flip phone I had, and you can see it's got a completely wrong time on the front. And when you charge it, it tells you how much charge, it, you know, how, how much it's charged. You can see the battery's full. The batteries on you, these lasted a lot longer than the phones these days because they didn't really have to do as much. You know, phones these days very graphics heavy and stuff. That will go off in a minute. Um, I'm, I'm glad it's kept its charge though. But they did last for quite a while. So when I moved up to smartphones, I was very surprised in a horrible way. Now, this one here was an LG flip phone. It is quite... It was actually Anthony's old one that he gave to me when he got a new one. And... You can see it's kind of yellowed and stuff like that. That's where the headphones go in. Again, volume buttons, you've got the same button as on the other phone. No buttons on this side, though. And I think, well, when it rang, this lit up different colours. This here was the camera, so you could take a selfie, or you could swivel it right round and take a picture of something else, which I thought was good. And it also meant that you could turn the camera this way to sort of try and protect it from getting scratched or wet or anything like that. Um, opening it up, which you could do with these phones with just one hand. Turn the camera right in to take a selfie there. Let's see if we can turn this one on. This one was built like a blooming armour block. I mean, it was, you can see how, um, how sort of, you know, sturdy it was. Oh, there's me and Anthony, so you can see what Anthony looked like. And I had long hair back then. Um, so this one's pretty much similar to the other one. I mean, the buttons all light up again. And you, you didn't have, like, a keyboard on these. You had to press them several times. So A, you press it once. B, you press it twice. C, you press it three times. And the same for all the others. And I got so fast at typing um, on these. It was really quite fun. So we've got shortcuts here. Music. You've got your messages. I think that's the menu, and that's contacts, which is quite useful. There's also contacts there as well. That's, oh, that's a quick menu. My th uh, three services, my three tunes and picks, music, sport, bookmarks, empty. Now, with this one, um, I started to use the three store, which is where you can download uh, simple games and um, music, ringtones, etc., and also with this one is, I don't think you could do it with the one before, but with this one you could connect it to your computer to put songs on it, I think. So, let's go 
media video player audio player image viewer video camera and camera uh let's see what sort of music i actually had on it my sound yeah so all of these i put on here myself the third one is a song and the first two are just sound clips from a tv show i liked it's quite slow Um, so you've got a video camera on it and a camera on it as well. Yeah, it was obviously more advanced than the previous one. Um, if you just press the middle button that should take you to a menu I'm hoping. No it did not take me to a menu. This one was a bit weird when I was charging it as well because it didn't say it was fully charged. It said it was like 97% charged or something. And Oh, that's your different um, modes. So you've got a normal mode, silent mode, vibrate mode, etc. Um, what I'm trying to get to is games. The menu button's right there. I didn't even see it. The menu button is here, right in front of my face, but I was looking up there. Okay, so the menu on this one looks like this. You've got messages, you've got calling, making phone calls, multimedia, contacts. I thought that was the Canadian flag then. Oh dear. Applications, browser, which was a very simple browser, organizer, tools, settings, and back to the beginning. Now what I wanted to look at was games. So I'm guessing that's applications. My applications. There we go. So these are the games I had on this one. I had a few more. Uh, so the, the games are starting to get popular back then. It was 2004, remember. So Spider-Man, Pub Ball, Bedrock Bowling, which I loved. Connect 4, Monotyke, Zuma, which I also loved, and Lemmings. So those are the games that I had on it. And back to the beginning again. So that was that one. And every time you close it made that little noise. Now this one um, I got as an upgraded model of that one. So it's the following year and I got this one. And this one I bought myself, no one else bought it for me. And it's literally an upgraded model of the previous one. So it's got the same little light that lights up. It also lights up when it's charging. So instead of the screen lighting up like on the previous one, this one will light up and when it goes off it means it's fully charged. Again, the same buttons on the side. That's actually a camera shortcut. So I don't know whether it's the same on the others, but on this phone it's a camera shortcut. Um, you've got your headphone thing on this side instead of the other side this time. And you can actually expand the memory of this phone, which I don't think you could do with the other one. Oh, that's the thing. I've just seen it. This thing here. This thing here was the thing that um, LG released. It was like a, an infrared way of sending files to each other that they never really utilised. Bit strange. But yeah, apparently it never worked. So this was my next one. Again, the same thing with the camera. You can take selfies or push it around the other way to take pictures of other things. 1.3 megapixels was this camera, so you can see how long ago it was. And they like to boast about that. It's also written at the top. So put this one on. 3 was the network that I was with, and I'm still with. I started off with 02. Insert SIM card. This one might not work, unless it comes off that. Which is a shame really, which means I can't access anything in it. Although I can take out the micro sim. Uh, mi not micro sim, micro um, flash drive. I'm getting pins and needles from sitting here so long. It's not working. You can hear a sound. That's the sound it made. But I love this phone. It was definitely one of my favourites. Um, after this phone, I actually upgraded to um, a phone that you turned... It was my first touch phone, and you turned it on its side, and um, it had like a slide-down keyboard. It wasn't like a slide phone, but it had a slide-down keyboard. Yeah, look at the battery there. I fully charged that yesterday. So this one's obviously a little bit worse for wear. I probably used it a bit more than the others. And it's just telling me to insert SIM. So you had like a little picture, you could have like a little wallpaper on the front there, which I loved. 
I had a tiny picture on the front and um, yeah it's pretty much the same as the last phone little things look different with it but it's just an upgrade unfortunately it does not work and also the date is completely wrong so that one unfortunately I can't show you but it's probably just as well because this video is getting kind of long I just nudged the camera there um, this one the Motorola Razor I wanted one of these when I was young I wanted one of these a lot because I loved them they were great however I never got one so I bought one years later off eBay the battery is a bit rubbish in it unfortunately but I was going to originally use it as a second phone for um, for my business so again you've got these three buttons on the side just like with the LG's and there's another button there flip it open and it's got lovely flat buttons it's really really nice in fact I, I actually wish they made phones like this today I think the razor is still going but I'm not sure how similar it is to this one now I charged this up yesterday yeah it's not working the battery they provided with this was not very good in fact I think you can probably buy replacement ones which is something I should possibly look into but as you can see it's got a similar layout to the other phones with the I'm turning it to the light there because you can't really can't see it very well and it's so shiny um, yeah you've got the little thing that navigates and you've got a web shortcut messages shortcut your phone and your on and off button and those on it's pretty much the same as the others and the blue parts I believe lit up but unfortunately the battery is knackered in it so we're not going to see that one so then we jump ahead to the flip phones of today now flip phones disappeared for a while because of course everyone has smartphones which are basically a huge screen and this is the galaxy one from Samsung and so you can't really do it with one hand because this is really a hefty thing it's got a screen here and you open it up and it looks just like a normal smartphone now when they first released these they had issues with the weakness in the middle here um, so we'll switch this one on like that now the old phones they came with big manuals that told you how to use them um, this one came with nothing so basically although I'm used to Android although I'm an iPhone, iPhone user uh, I do have Android devices as well I don't know some of the things you can do with this phone because there is no instructions I don't actually know how to turn it off so it's got like a, an assistant thing on it similar to Siri on the iPhone and oh, I just put my password in not that it's particularly private but Um, so I actually have to ask the assistant to shut down the phone which is really really very lame and old of me um, so it's got a nice animated background of a cat which I downloaded off uh, the store it's by an artist called Apophis who you can find on uh, Twitter if you want to look at that they do lovely animated wallpapers and you can customize all the icons and look how different it is look how far we've come from back then to now I know it's been a big leap and I didn't show anything in between because I had nothing but you know it's it's like there's there's so much we've come so far I'm just gonna put the camera off because it's coming to the end of its thing it does about oh, just over 18 minutes and then um, it stops recording because it can't do files bigger than that I don't know why I've got a massive memory card in this camera um, yeah so you've got things that we're all used to I suppose oh hello pets just opened up I've got this virtual pet thing that's not happened before but then I opened it up pretty quickly last time so I've got this virtual pet thing and it's got a little cat where is it there it is <laughs> where is the cat you tap on it and you can collect hearts from it and things like that are you pretending to be friendly to me it's a bit cheeky this cat the cat also appears on on here if you have an android device this hello pet game will have the animal running around your screen i've put mine there you could actually put it either side i didn't really want it getting in the middle of the in the middle of the uh actual picture itself because it's quite nice so yeah you've got loads of little icons here i like to keep my phones quite um free from loads of icons and stuff but you've got everything down here as well and you can customize you can customize the wallpaper the lock screen you can customize the icons 
Um, they do loads of amazing custom themes. I don't know if it's just Samsung, but it's certainly this, and I had a lot of fun designing the... Well, not designing, but choosing designs, I suppose. Switch the screen off. There's a little cat you can just about see there. Probably not. And then when you do that, that's the uh, lock screen. And then I've got the... Uh, I've also got... Um, face recognition but I also have touch recognition as well and if you close the phone because everyone knows how, how phones these days work but if you close this phone you can have a little screen here and if you swipe you can see little bits and pieces um, on it add widget so it's just got like shortcuts and widgets and things like that so that's that one so that's how far these phones have come. Now I remember talking to a guy who worked in a phone shop and he said to me years ago, and I think it was around the time that I had this one, he said, well there's not much more you can do with them because they go online and I don't honestly think they'll take them any further. And how wrong he was because then they thought, oh hey, let's turn them into computers. The first time I had my, my first smartphone, which is that, that touch one I told you about that I got after that with the keyboard, um, it was odd because it wasn't it wasn't an Android. It wasn't quite up to Android. My first Android phone was the one I got after, which was an HTC. But it was it was odd because all of a sudden your phone was booting up like a computer, and I just found that really bizarre um, for some reason. Now I don't know some of you watching because I know people of all ages watch my channel. A lot of them actually in their thirties and forties. Um, some of them are older, some are younger. Um, but there'll be people on here going, "Oh well, I had one of those big phones in my car, you know, back in the seventies or sixties or whatever." And then there's other people going, "Well, you know, I've never, I've never known anything other than smartphones." So, you know, if you've, if you haven't known anything other than smartphones, this is what the old phones that I grew up with looked like. And when phones first came out, and people were using them a lot, well, not when they first came out, but when they first became popular, I should say, I didn't want one. My parents insisted I had one because I'd left sixth form, and um, I had a job, and they said, you've got to get a phone to keep in touch, because we want to make sure you're safe. And it was a Nokia 3310, and you could play games on it. You could store about eight texts in it, seven or eight texts. And then you had to get rid of them if you wanted to receive any more, or they deleted themselves. And you could play Snake. So, uh, that was it. You know, and how far they've come now, now people use them for organising their whole lives. Which is pretty neat, to be fair. But it's amazing how, in my lifetime alone, how fast it's come along. And it's also kind of scary as well. Are we going too fast with technology? Is everything moving too fast? Is it all going to blow up in our phases? Because um, it's probably a dumb theory, but if the internet and the servers and everything the world over were knocked out, people store everything on the cloud now. You know, all the legal files and things for businesses and what have you, it's all stored online, or most of it is. It would just destroy everything. Everything would go into a blackout. Is that a good idea? This is what you've got to ask yourself thinking about the future. Yes, it's very useful, it's connected to a lot of people, but at the same time, is it necessarily going in the right direction? And that's really the sort of thing I'm pondering from seeing how fast technology has come along in the last few years. Uh, as for you, well, you've probably got your own um, ideas and views and stuff like that, and uh, if you want to write them down in the uh, comments, feel free, because it's, it's quite interesting seeing people's views. I've always been quite enthusiastic about phones, but these days, to be perfectly fair, other than upgrading cameras and things when they bring out a new phone, it started to slow down. Because now, I'm not sure how much more they can do with them. And it's finally got to what that guy was saying years ago. But basically, they bring out a new model of phone, and it's had system upgrades and camera upgrades, but for most people, what's the point in upgrading? I'm still using an iPhone uh, XS. And I've had for like five years. So, is there any point? You know, people are always saying, oh yeah, upgrade to the latest one. No point, really. Except, of course, now they build obsolescence into them. And uh, they 
basically you can't update your phone's operating system after it's so many years old like the uh, iPhone 6s this year you could not update the operating system on it to the newest one because it's no longer supported so eventually even if your phone still works fine the companies do kind of like kind of force you to upgrade but then I suppose technology moves on and that handset can't handle the graphics and various things anymore which is I suppose understandable anyway I'm not going to rant anymore I'm going to say goodbye now I hope you've enjoyed this weird trip through history regarding phones and uh, if you want to see uh, more videos of the Nokia 3310 I'll put them in the links below if you want to check out my Etsy and Monday stores feel free I make plushies and take commissions or if you want to buy me a coffee on Kofi also feel free if you can't uh, afford a commission or anything or if you enjoy what I do all tips are always welcome and that's all for now stay safe stay healthy and keep being awesome this is Silver Wolf signing off <laughs>